guys hi this evening i just got out of the shower sorry my hair's all wet um moving right along right along on the house it looks great but uh I'm trying to get the hang of these new energies since the first because they're so much faster and i've wanted faster for so long and now that they're faster i'm having to adjust to try to keep up with them interesting how that works huh so uh yeah just wanted to update you on the when it comes to uh, whatever you send out, you get back, it's definitely faster than it used to be. And this is uh, from what you would perceive as a negative as well as a positive. So really, guys, I cannot emphasize enough on being true to yourself and figuring out where you are vibrating from. That That is involved with finding the authentic you, finding out what really, really makes you happy, not what society has told you should make you happy but really what does make you happy and because it's very very important that you be honest with yourself about um, about that subject in order to vibrate correctly otherwise you're going to be very confused as to what you're creating and it's going to be uh, the creating is coming along so much faster that you'll start to recognize how fast it's being created you'll become more aware of the fact that you're creating it but unless you're honest about how you really feel uh, it's going to be very confusing for and hard for you to get the hang of of creating consciously okay so like in the case of this house interestingly enough Stephanie's car still hasn't sold even though we've dropped the price dropped the price dropped the price by all rights just an older vehicle that is in good running condition especially in the south down here in Texas where there's an air conditioner that works and works well and it has a radio that works well and good tires that alone is enough to hold a car and sell it for two grand this car still isn't selling so what that tells me is we're not supposed to sell that car that something else either somebody is waiting like I've told you we built that car consciously with a lot of very high vibrations in it so it would um, run well that it would not break down we did that consciously on purpose so now the the downside to that is there's not going to it's going to have to be the right person that buys the car so we didn't take that into consideration that we have to have high vibration people to come and look at it <laughs> anyway it's not the point the point here is it's not sold given the fact that it's not sold after this long and the price has dropped so low that means that the universe is telling us that there is a reason for that we don't know what the reason is maybe that car is is uh supposed to go to a certain person that person isn't here yet maybe we're supposed to keep the car as a backup car for stephanie um who knows whatever the reason is instead of stressing about it which is what I have done for the last two or three weeks. It has gone long enough now that it doesn't make any sense, right? Now it does it, it defies logic. So the the way that you answer that is I don't have the whole story. My perspective is flawed. For whatever reason, I'm looking at it through tunnel vision instead of big picture. So I need to back up, trust that everything happens for a reason and because of the way we have asked for things to happen that it will sell at the appropriate time for the right reasons take a deep breath and relax now when it comes to the house stephanie wants she you know she's got this little farm that that uh that we got her that i got her into and it's got two prop it's got two houses on the property then it's got two fenced pastures and oh about total of about eight acres total so what she's going to do, she's going to split that property and the bigger house, she's going to sell it with half the property and the shop and the barn. Okay. Then, um, she's going to live in the other house, the other property for now. And then she'll probably sell it later. Okay. So that will get her out from under the note that selling the first house. Okay. So we're going through and fixing everything that needs to be fixed. We've had, uh, renters in it for three, four years now. And do you know how that works? There's usually a, a lot of things that are done that have to be fixed. So there's a lot of holes in the walls and plugs that don't work and, you know, 
damage done that has to be corrected. And a lot of it, as I've said before, is dark, that old 70s dark paneling. So we're painting over the top of that, getting it to have a fresh, more modern look. So I think tomorrow we'll probably have about half of it painted. It is a three-bedroom house with a fourth bedroom or game room, whichever way you want to break it down, and has two fireplace. In other words, it's a pretty good-sized house. It's not a tiny house, so it is taking us a little bit of time. Now, we've been able to do all the fixing and everything for about, by the time we're done, about $250. And the way we did that was going to that Habitat for Humanity. It's called Restore. And uh, we got gallons of paint that were opened. They'd been used, but not very much of it used for a dollar a gallon, if you can believe that. And then the pieces that we needed to replace and fix, we were able to get them there for a very, very reasonable amount of money. Now, I went in there and got a lot of the stuff to fix the house. At the same time, I started talking to them. And there's a bunch of stuff out here on the farm that really just needs to be hauled away. Um, Steve is... Stephanie's dad is renting that house from her right now, and he's going to move to South Carolina. So he's got some stuff that he's not going to haul out there. So I got to talking to him, and the Restore people are coming to pick up all of this stuff that was going to take me probably three or four days to pick up and haul away, and they're going to take them to the, the Restore so they can resell it. Again, cut me down on time that I have to worry about to get the house ready before we sell it by three or four days. And then it goes to that store to be reused and to help with Habitat for Humanity. All oh, awesome. Can you see the flow in this? I mean, everybody interacting with everybody else. You know, lovely flow. So then the outside pretty much is going to be taken care of by those folks, except for a couple things. Maybe one day's work needs to be done outside on top of what I've already done. So we've got to finish the inside, right? So we've got to tomorrow hope to have about half of it done. And um, then we'll just have the other half to paint. And then on the countertops, I'm going to do that resin fake stone thing that you can do with acrylic. I mean, with resin. Uh, really, really make the place, I think, pop a lot more. And up, update it. Again, we're about halfway through. Neighbor comes over looking for his lost dog. And his dog tends to come over to our house and visit. So we found the little pup. Got to talking to him, come to find out his daughter is a dentist. She lives in Magnolia, Texas, and she's a country girl. And Magnolia, Houston is starting to grow up around Magnolia, and she's very unhappy where she is. So he gave her a call, and she wants to buy this house because it's you know very, very close to her father, and her father's 80-something. So I imagine she also wants to be close to him because he is over there living alone. Tough guy goes by cowboy mike so in other words she's going to buy this house he already described it to her gave her the price bam done deal she wants it now it's just a matter of paperwork and getting her here working out the fine details on top of that we're splitting this property so we have to have it um you know the surveyed well cowboy mike has got friends that do surveying cut us a really good deal on doing the survey for this place bam another one on top of that, Cowboy Mike was looking for a big red pickup. Remember the dually that had a video up? Stephanie's dad was wanting to sell. He took one look at that truck. He's going to buy the truck. He's also, we've got one horse left. He wants to buy that horse. Just with a five-minute conversation. Now, Steve's got his, his truck sold. Stephanie's got her house sold. The horse, we can leave the horse here. He's going to buy the horse, but leave... The horse here in this pasture so we don't even have to traumatize and change the horse to another place again flow after flow after flow and this is pretty much what i see happening since the first is this speeding up of a natural these synchronicities getting to be very noticeable and becoming very very fast very very fast and so i encourage you you really have to stay on top of how you're feeling. Remember, the universe does not speak English or any human language. What it does is it assumes that however you are vibrating, it will send you more of like vibrations. It will send you more of like vibrations. 
So if you are vibrating in fear, it will bring to you, take you to timelines where you are in circumstances that keep you vibrating in fear. If you are happy, it matches the vibration, not the terminology used by humans. So if you're in a vibration of everything's great, everything's flowing well, everything is exactly as I want it to be, and then allow it to happen, try not to get in the way and do too much um, organizing. Try not to make lists. <laughs> try not to organize how you're going to do things in the future. Trust that you know what you're doing, and as long as you are vibrating knowing that everything is perfect, everything will work out, then that's exactly what has to happen. It can be no other way. The universe must comply. It must keep you in a vibrational timeline that matches your vibration. And basically, that's what we're talking about here. We're not, you think events, you think your life. But what is really happening is vibrations must stay with vibrations that are similar within that range that I'm always talking about. They must stay in the same vibrational range. So if your vibrational range is one of fear, then you will be kept in timelines. You will be surrounded with incidents and events and people that keep you in that same, that same vibrational place of fear. You must change out of the vibration of fear in order for the universe to allow you or take you or, uh, I don't know how to explain how it works, but uh, for you to go to the vibrations of timelines where the events around you are flowing beautifully, you have to vibrate flowing beautifully first. It must happen first, just like you have to vibrate all of the things that are 5D, you have to have all of that stuff. You have to be vibrating in compliance with the way 5D vibrates before you can get to 5D. You have to be vibrating happily, happier, before you can go to timelines that are happier. If you don't, you will just keep repeating what you are right now. If you are happier and happier, you will keep vibrating and going to timelines that are happier and happier. If you're vibrating in fear, you keep staying on timelines where events and people around you are causing you to be in fear. Not only that, but you will see fear in other people. You will see fear on the planet because that is what you match. Okay. So you have to change that. The, it is, it is definitely moving faster than I've ever seen. Even I am, my, my belief system in the way it has been is almost blocking me from seeing how fast it really is. Although I can read it from third person out and tell you that it is much, much faster. Excuse me, much, much higher. So try to be happier and happier. Concentrate on your knowing who your authentic self is all the time, how you really, really are feeling. What is the frequency that you are on? If you're unsure, look at your life around you. Is it full of happy people? Are the angry people just you don't run into them anymore? Or are you just surrounded by angry, negative people all the time? Because they're a mirror to where you are. You could not be on a timeline with an angry, upset person unless you too are vibrating somewhat within that range. Okay. So use the world around you to help you learn how you are vibrating, how you are really feeling because how you're feeling is kind of letting you know what you're vibrating at so that you can go to a timeline that's happier and happier and can take advantage of the flow that is right now on Gaia. As this grid has been improved, it just keeps getting more and more energy to it on the higher uh, vibrations of frequencies that were just very debilitated before the first. Those have been reinvigorated and they're getting stronger and stronger. The lower vibrations are getting weaker and weaker. They're still there, but the power is now going to the higher vibrations. It's moving to a different area on the grid. 
Not that it will stop the other ones. It won't stop until it's completely right before it leaves 5D. They still exist, but they're very, very light. The energy is being diverted. It's going to higher vibrations, more and more energy. As you've heard that before, you're getting a light body. Guy is getting more of a light body. That's why when you have those moments in 5D, it's bright and shiny. It's sparkly. There are colors that you've never seen before. Okay? Alrighty then. Let's have fun, guys. Happier and happier every day. Every moment of every day. All right? Okay. Huge hugs. I love you guys so, so, so much. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.